Wanted to do a pit stop with uh, our favorite football writer. Pat Forty covers football, college football for Sports Illustrated. Big Ten had a uh, great month here. But I'm curious as we move forward, what happens next with Big Ten SEC? Or does somebody else make a, a move there? Just so people can understand, is anything imminent with Big Ten and SEC adding new schools? Different rumor every day, Dan. Uh, depends who you listen to and who you're talking to. I don't think anything is imminent, but I've also got some people telling me, yeah, within the next two weeks, the Big Ten could add schools. Uh, again, I, I it's hard to separate fact from fiction there. You know, I think it pretty, seems pretty clear Notre Dame is willing to stand pat for the moment, and they're the big lever here. So then it's a question of can Washington or Oregon – or some other combination of West Coast schools make themselves attractive enough to join the Big Ten to get an offer and to go aboard there. And if that happens, is the Big 12 done? And does the uh, does the, the Pac-12 done? And does the Big 12 scoop up the schools from the South? But, I don't honestly know where we're going. But if you're the Big Ten, do you keep Rutgers? And do you keep Maryland? Do you keep, you know, sort of these peripheral schools here while if going after Florida State or Clemson or Notre Dame? Do, I mean, is there relegation here? What what do you see happening with these conferences? From what I've been told, people would be very reluctant to, you know, kick out members that they invited in. Uh, you know, the, it, it would be a bad look. And now, hey, college sports is not above bad looks. We've seen that <laughs> in pr- pursuit of the money. But there is a kind of a line there of just outright betrayal of, of like, we're just, we're getting rid of you. Uh, secondly, they need some teams that can be beaten. Right in every league, not not everybody's going to go twelve and zero. You're going to need teams that are two and ten, three and nine, four and eight. Wait, and so a conference a, a conference can't kick you out, but you can kick out a conference. Yeah, I mean you, you could do that. Sure, Texas, sure. Oklahoma did that. UCLA, yeah. USC did that. So it it could happen. I'm just curious if, and I've likened this to uh, you know the board game risk. This is about just rolling dice and going in and taking over states, taking over Florida, get Florida State, Central Florida, Miami. That's what the SEC might be looking at. But as far as extrapolate this and and look at what you think the timeline is, and even when Greg Sankey was with us a couple of weeks ago, he did talk about, you know, maybe, and Nick Saban talked about relegation. Uh, Are we looking at, you know, an AFC and an NFC in college football, in your opinion, in the next five years? Yeah, I do think that, yeah. I, I've had a lot of people say three to five years, this will all shake out, and we will probably have two mega conferences of 18 to 20 teams each, and everybody else uh, will see where you fit in. Now, there's also a school of thought that somebody will form a third power conference, and if you can somehow get enough schools from the ACC to say, we want to break the grant of rights we're leaving, more than half. Uh, then do you go out and combine the best of the ACC with the best of the Big 12 with the best of the remaining Pac-12? And that's the <laughs> third power league. I you know, I don't know, the combo platter league, if it were, if you will. Uh, I, I do still think we are, this is a Big 10 SEC power play, and it's going to end up with those two as the dominant uh, forces and even more dominant in the next five years. Give me the team, the surprise team this year that could be in the playoffs. I, does Utah qualify as a surprise? I, I'm not sure if they do. You know, they made the Rose Bowl last year, but uh, I think they're poised to have a very good season. They open at Florida September 3rd. You win that game, you get instant credibility, road win in the SEC. Mm. Then if you can go in and take care of business in the Pac-12, I kind of like the Utes to have a big season there. Yeah, but boy, seeing them on the field against Ohio State in the Rose Bowl, there was a big separation in talent there. <laughs> Big different separation in speed, no doubt about it. Yeah. And I look, hey, somebody's going to be the fourth team in the playoff, and they're probably going to get trucked. That's kind of been the history of the playoff. Is whoever there, there may be two or three good teams. There's rarely been four competitive teams and two good semifinals. All right, I know you're busy. Just wanted to check in with you. Thank you, Pat. All right, my pleasure, Dan. We'll At- talk more later. Pat Forty, Sports Illustrated, National Football Writer.